Hi guys, welcome to the new video. So in this video, we are going to discuss very important uh, concept of Linux uh, that we can use in multiple ways. So let me give me the topic name. That is cron tab. Now the real world use case of this cron tab is like uh, when we have moved to slowly slowly to bash scripting. Very soon we will see how to write bash scripts. In this, we will write like uh, the birthday. Message will always send to your friends or your colleagues automatically by the script. So, what is the use of cron tab now? Is uh, using a cron tab, you can schedule any script or any command you can run, any command you can run, or on a scheduled basis. Like you want to run every month or every hour, every week, every yearly, you want to run once, or multiple things you can achieve with a cron tab. So, cron tab follows the syntax of six fields that is. Star means as you all know asterisk, but what are those six fields? Is? First field is will tell you at what minute you want to run. Like uh, it, the value of is between zero to fifty-nine. Uh, second is R. Okay, so at uh, like uh, at which R you want to run? Basically, you can say like at what time you want to run. It may be at five a.m. you want to run, or at ten a.m. you want to run. It's like that. Okay. Third field will tell you the month date. Now in month we have date from one to thirty one. So at which date you want to run this particular job? Maybe at first of April or at thirty first of April or twenty eighth of March, something like that. Four will tell you in which month you want to run. Okay, month that is from one to twelve, January to December. This will tell you on which weekday. You want to run it on Monday. You want to run it on Saturday. We can uh, give a number here also. Zero to seven. Zero and seven means Sunday. One means Monday. So it's Tuesday. Similarly, six is Saturday. And the last will which script or which command you want to run. That is the use. Okay. Now there is very important concept. There are many important files or directories I can say. So first is Uh, etc cron dot d one is etc cron tab okay another is etc cron dot weekly so these are the directories so etc cron dot d is a configuration directory of cron tab okay now what does it means let's move to the console and see if i go etc cron dot d you can write your script here okay This is one of the script that written. What written in this script is like uh, at every one minute of every hour and every week and every month year. With as a root user, we are running this script. Which script? It is the cron dot r d. It's written in the cron dot d. So what cron dot d means is whatever the configuration files or configuration scripts you want to put according to cron tab, you can put in this cron dot d directory. And these are again the cron directories or cron configuration directories only. So this is the main cron directory, cron configuration directory. Whatever written in this directory or whatever file is there inside this directory and whatever written inside that file, so that file always read first. So it's like cron tab is one program that is reading reading a configuration directory that is cron dot d. These are multiple files and whatever written inside the files, that file always read first. Similarly, this file is written here. So it's running this script. Now what this script is, if you want to see, what we can do is we can do it like this. Is a directory, okay? See, and these two scripts are created here. So the script is written here. What the script is written is if you want to read it out, like uh, they are testing something and uh, some power they are testing and passing the values in day and night and something they are written. So this script is running every hour basis. Why? Because this is again one of the configuration directory that is etc cron dot r. So whatever the file inside cron dot r will run at every hour. And from where we are calling this cron dot r is from the cron dot d directory because that is a Main directory of cron tab. Let me go to cron dot d again. Okay, now if I do ln and if I check you the second file, see. Once a week we are running this thing, and if I do this, 
मल्टीपल फिंगर रिटर्न हियर सम इज रनिंग एट एवरी टेन मिनट सम इज रनिंग एट एवरी आर जीरो मिनट समथिंग लाइक दैट सो दिस इज द मेन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन डायरेक्टरी ऑफ क्रॉन है एंड इफ आई गो वन मोर डायरेक्टरी बैक एंड इफ आई लेस द थिंग एंड ग्रैब विथ क्रॉन एज एन कीवर्ड यू कैन सी वी हैव मेनी थिंग्स मेनी कॉन्फ़िगरेशन डायरेक्टरी इज क्रॉन डॉट इज द मेन डायरेक्टरी इन व्हिच वी कैन कैप फाइल डॉट डायरेक्टरी लेट्स से वन फाइल इज इनसाइड क्रॉन डॉट ई व्हिच इज कॉलिंग मल्टीपल स्क्यू फ्रॉम दिस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन डायरेक्टरी So whatever is there in Cron dot weekly, every week it will run. We can keep one file that we want to run every week. We can keep one script that we want to run every month, every hour, or every day. It's like that. One more file I want to tell is etc Cron tab. You can see whatever the syntax I told you written here as it is. So at what minute denoted by this first symbol, first first field, second is hour, third is day of month. Like one to thirty-one, then one, then which we you want to run. Now you need to understand is there are multiple users in Linux, okay? And according to those users, what we can do is we can create multiple cron tabs, okay? So now what is the difference between uh, creating a cron with a command and creating cron in one file? So let me give you the difference. It's very important difference. We can create cron jobs in etc. Cron tab file also, and we can create cron job with this command also. Now, what is the difference is? But before, let me tell you the syntax of this command. This command syntax is like cron tab, then options. That's it. Now, let's see. I want to see all the cron jobs that are created by user cron tab only. So, if I will list all the cron jobs created by Current user, that is root. So no job is created. Let's say I want to see some job created by other user. Let's say this. See, now before that it's saying root. Now it's saying this root was the user. If I want to see another user from jobs created by another user here root, then we can use hyphen u and we can pass the username. Hyphen n will list the cron jobs. But if we don't pass the username, it will list the job for current user. But if we want to see other user cron job, then hyphen use option, which is the job of other user. That is one thing. Now, as before, I want to show you this one directory also. That is where and if I do this, nothing is here. Now, what does it mean? Is whenever we create a cron job with a command cron tab. Uh, how we can create? I will tell you. So it will always create one file inside this directory with the name of user. Let's say I created cron job with root as a user. It will create a file with root as a user or with the name root file with the name root. And whatever the expression we wrote in that cron job will uh, will be stored in this file. Let's say I created one cron job with three two as a user. So in the web school cron only, it will create one other file with the name. Do and whatever the expression we wrote in the cron job will store in this file. Expression means, let's say at every hour, every month, every week, I want to run this date command. So this is the expression of cron job that will store in this file. But what it is a cron tab is same. We can schedule the job with it is a cron tab file also. Syntax is always the same. What does it mean by syntax always the same? Minute, hour, day of month, which month basically January, February, March. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which which week and which command. So syntax is always same. Even though we create with cron tab, either with cron tab as a command or in the etc cron tab directly, we can edit this file also. But why this file is created is this file is created for system level task, or we can say system level job we want to schedule. Then we can use this file. Like I want to back up my system. Something related to system. I want to do something in my X Y Z thing in my system. Then I can use this file. But if I want to manage the cron jobs or cron expressions per user wise, then I I will recommend or Linux is recommend to create a cron job with cron tab and as a command. So that in where spool cron it will create a file in the name of user and cron expression or cron job will manage per user wise. Another disadvantage of using uh, etc cron tab is. First is like it will be system wise, not the user wise. So it's very risky. Let's say any user created some malicious script and scheduled in etc cron tab, and it will it is running 
every week, every second, then it will it will cause you lose your system. The system will be hacked or your system will be affected with some virus. So it's very risky. First thing, and we are not managing this either way. Second disadvantage is like we it's not better for the management and every time when we are creating a cron job we need to pass the username like from which user we want to run this script if i show it to you in this file see every syntax is same till here this file one two three four five things are same sixth thing what we discuss in the expression is command to execute this is the last Field, but before that, if you see, every time we need to specify this username from which user we want to run this script. And if I show you the example of this, you can see in this. See, every second we are running, every day, every month, every week, but we are specifying this root as a user also. And then the script name. So that is a bit uh, difficult to manage the things, and uh, it's not good to manage all the things in ATC cron tab. It's always good to manage the cron jobs per user wise. That's why we use cron tab as a command. So now let's create one cron tab, a cron job. How we can create? So the option is hyphen E to add or edit the cron tab. But before that, I want to show you one more thing. If you see, no files are created here. As soon as I create a cron job, it will create one file. So what I am doing is every minute I want to run the script every hour, second, every day of month. Like I don't care which today is first or second or thirty first of the day. Then which month? Every month, January, February doesn't matter for me. On which weekday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Every day. And which command? So I am giving date as a command. And you know how to take this date command full path? I already told you. If you don't know, quickly you can use which date or which care you can use multiple things. Now, if you want to list the cron tab created by current user, cron tab hyphen L hyphen L is option C. It's created now. And now if I do ls, see, before there is no file, now it's created one file in the name root. And if I get this file, everything will be seen that is showing in this hyphen L. If I do this, It's running date every second, every minute, and every hour. I can see it last run is on 15.18.02. Next, it will run on 15.19.02. So, let's wait for 15.19.02 very quickly. Yeah, done. Now, if I get again the file, see last command is run on 15.19.01. So that means the date command is executing every one minute. Now the second option is for add option we have hyphen i hyphen e. Again for edit we have hyphen e only. Now I want to run instead of date run care as a command every minute every hour of every month and every date. Now if I do this last command run on fifty nine and zero one. Let it be. It will automatically update. Yeah, one thing I want to tell you: you don't need to do anything extra to update cron job or cron tab. As soon as, soon as you edit with hyphen e as the option, or directly in the file in where's pool cron and whatever the username, directly you can edit this file also, or you can use cron tab hyphen e also. So as soon as you edit this cron job, either by file or by hyphen e option, it will come into picture just after one minute itself. So let's say command run on fifteen nineteen zero one last command, and you change your thing on fifteen nineteen twenty to cal command. So next cron job will run or at what time fifteen twenty zero one. So this time it will automatically take cal not date. That is the use of cron job also. See. It took cal last time on 19 March 2021. This is one thing. Now what I'm want to show you last thing is if we do ls only root thing is here. But I'm trying to log in with this as a another user. It will say password not correct. I guess yeah. I forget the password of this, but let me try. Uh, okay. 
Now what I am doing is cron tab hyphen e I am doing and I am editing this file and what I am doing is I want to run in every first minute that means zero of every hour start every day of every month and Sunday Monday Tuesday doesn't matter every day and the command is user bin date and if I do save again go to this file and do lsc it created this new file and if you check this file see now what zero in the starting means zero in the starting means first minute of every hour that means let's say now it's 15 means 3 pm so 3 pm first minute means at 3 pm second it will run at Every hour means now after 3, it's 4 every minute. Now it is running every hour basis now, you can think of because 0 we put in the starting and then all the things are listed. That means every day 1 to 31, every month 1 to 12, and every week Monday to Saturday. It's running some command, but starting 0 means at the first minute of every hour, start here. If I put 5 here, that means it will run at 5 am only. And if I put 15, that means 3 pm. 0 means every first minute and the first every first, first minute is 0 0 so that's how clock works 0 1 3 3 hour 1 minute 3 hour 2 minutes so 0 0 means every first minute of some hour we can give multiple hour together also how we can give is let's say every minute I want to run but at some specific hour let's say in the morning 5 I want to run and in the evening 5 I want to run so with the comma you can separate this 2 hours I am giving first is morning second is evening same if you want to run at intervally the things now what intervally means the thing is every 15 minute or every 30 minute then you need to follow slash 15 or slash 30 symbol star 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 and command same for this first field will you have to write in this way slash 15 means every 15 minute of every hour slash 30 means every 30 minute of every hour every day every week this command you have to run so that's how the cron job work. The last option I want to tell you is if I do cron tab hyphen L, it is showing me only root thing because I don't specify hyphen U. If I specify hyphen U and hyphen L, this is the same thing without hyphen U also. It will automatically take if you don't pass hyphen U, it will automatically take the current root user. Now I want to see user this and list. See now it's showing me for user dick. Now I want to remove cron job, then the option is hyphen R. If I don't specify hyphen U and any other thing, it will delete the root script. But if I specify hyphen U and this username and then hyphen R. Now if I do hyphen L, see, no cron tab for this. And if I do LS also, that is removed. And if I don't specify hyphen U and directly do hyphen R, it will remove me root cron tab and LS, nothing is here. So that's how the cron tab works, cron job works. You can modify by hyphen E, you can add by hyphen E, remove by hyphen R, list by hyphen L, specified your eyes, like I giving you expressions how you can write a cron tab and multiple things. You can, instead of date and cal, you can write your own script also for birthday celebration or invitation on WhatsApp that we will see in our shell script tutorial and then we can schedule that job or any command if you want to script, you want to schedule, that's uh, the first thing is cron tab or cron job in Linux. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. If you have any doubts, you can post your doubts on LinkedIn or in the comment box. Thank you for watching the video.